Orally biotin is used to treat biotin deficiencies, but most people know it as that miracle vitamin for hair, skin, and nail health. But does biotin live up to its hype or is it another supplement scam? Today I've looked at the scientific research and I will be classifying it as either harmful, helpful, or just a plain hoax. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Tessa. I'm a last year doctorate of pharmacy student as well as a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. If you wanna stay up to date with my supplement and superfood science videos, make sure to hit the subscribe and check me out on Instagram at the superfood pharmacist. In 2017, a meta-analysis looked at biotin supplementing. This analysis showed an improvement in hair and nail growth in those supplementing with biotin who had an established biotin deficiency. That is the key. These patients had a biotin deficiency, which is actually pretty rare in the United States. Those who are more at risk for biotin deficiency usually include those who are alcohol dependent, women who are either pregnant or breastfeeding, or those who have been treated with an anti-epileptic medication for longer than a year. Another study showed that biotin taken as 2.5 milligrams for 1.5 to 15 months actually did increase the thickness and decrease the splitting of fingernails and toenails with people with brittle nails. However, this study didn't specifically mention biotin deficiency in these individuals and it was done in a small subset of individuals. Despite this, there's no randomized controlled trial looking at the efficacy of supplementing with biotin in normal healthy individuals for the increase in their hair and nail growth. But what about safety? Can you have too much biotin? If you have brittle nails, why don't you just take it? One study showed that biotin has been used safely upwards of 300 milligrams daily for up to 30 months. However, supplements that contain excess amount of biotin larger than two to 5,000 milligrams has shown to produce false lab values, including those that measure certain hormones and thyroid function. Today, I'm classifying this supplement as a hoax for normal, healthy individuals. The claims of improving hair and nail growth are at best supported by a few case studies that don't do a great job of discussing biotin deficiencies. However, that being said, I do think it's helpful for those who have an established biotin deficiency. If you think you have a biotin deficiency, this can easily be determined by a simple blood test provided by your primary care provider. Like I mentioned before, it seems like supplementing with biotin doesn't really do any harm. However, even if I thought I had a deficiency, I don't know if I would waste the money on supplementing before I knew if I actually had a deficiency or not. Biotin, like any other supplement, can interact with medications, especially anti-convulsants. As always, it's important to talk to your physician, your pharmacist before supplementing with anything. We wanna make sure that there are no disease or drug interactions. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, now what? What am I supposed to do to help with the nail and hair growth? Well, I will be discussing that in an upcoming video, so make sure to hit that little bell notification so you get notified when I upload that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. We'll see you next time.